So that is Radharani's heart, is that Prem Darpan. So Krishna wants, he has to, uh, it says, that's one another verse here, it says, verse 140 in chapter 4, Yadyapi nirmala radara sat prema darpan, tatapi swachata tara bade shane shan. Although Radha's love is pure like a mirror, its purity increases at every moment. Sat prema darpan, nirmal, swachata. So this is very nice. This is the second, second reason why Krishna took the form of Radharani. These are the internal reasons why Krishna came as Garanga Mahaprabhu. Why? Did Garanga Mahaprabhu descend to this world? So he, these are the internal reasons. It's all about love. It's all about greed. <laughs> greed for love. And uh, so Lord Chaitanya, is, he's a very greedy person. <laughs> Krishna comes and greedy for Radharani's love. So this is uh, the heart of the pure devotee or Premi Bhakta is a mirror in which Krishna sees his own form. And the best mirror is the heart of Srimati Radharani. So we are, we are aspiring, we are trying to become servants of Radharani, Radhadasyam. Das, 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 anadas. Gopi Bhartu, Parakamalyo, das, das, anadas. Das, 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 anadas. So that really means we're saying das, but actually it should be feminine gender, dasi. Because Gopi Bhartu, Bhartu means the lord or master of the gopis. The das, so the servant of the master of the gopis. So Gop, the master of the gopis is Gopinath, and the servant of Gopinath is Radharani, and the servant of Radharani is Lita, and the servant of Lita is Rupa Manjari, and the servant of Rupa Manjari is Rati Manjari, and the servant of Rati Manjari is Guru Parampara, Evam Parampara Praptam, Guru Saki Parampara. So our Guru Maharaj, he's a Saki Manjari, and then our Param Guru is, is this uh, Nayanamani Manjari, Bhakti Santa Saraswati. Then our Par- Paratara Guru is Guna Mandri, Gorakishwaras, Babaji. And then his Shiksha Guru or Mandri is Kamala Mandri, Bhakti Vinod Thakur. And then it goes like this. So this really is Gopi Bhartu Padakamalyar, Dasi, Dasi, Anudasi. Mm-hmm. They become a maidservant, the maidservant, the maidservant, the maidservant, or sometimes they say handmaiden. You'll see this, the, the servants of the queen are called handmaidens. Mm-hmm. They wait on the queen with hand and foot. <laughs> so sometimes it says maidservant or handmaiden. In technical terms, there are five types of sakis, and one is called pran. They're called pran saki or nitya saki, and they are also called manjri. There's a fool. There's a flower, and then there's a manjri. Before it opens up to a flower, it's a flower bud. Yeah. And that flower bud is a manjri. So they're a little bit, little bit less, almost, almost about to be a flower, but not quite a flower. They're supportive, or they're next stage down. So this is the, the our goal is the service of Radharani, because we can't. Who can serve Krishna? No one can serve Krishna but Radharani. She's the best servant. So if we want to please Krishna, then we should please the devotees of Krishna. So Radharani is the greatest devotee. So we try to please her. So what's the third reason? The third reason is that Krishna, he had a desire, he was greedy to understand the happiness, the sokyam, the happiness and the pleasure that Radharani feels by relishing my beauty. How can I know it? We're discussing the three internal reasons why Krishna appeared, this antarkarana, the internal reasons why Krishna came as Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And the verse we are discussing is first, first chapter, sixth verse of the Chaitanya Charitamrita, and, and then it says, "Sri Radha, Sri Radha Pranaya Mahima," that Krishna he was very much, he was actually became greedy. Like we we're saying, greed is a bad thing, or greedy for money, or greedy for fame, or greedy to eat, or any kind of greed, calm, crowed, lobe. These are impediments, and they keep us in the material world. <clears throat> so, we find, when we, we see Krishna himself, even he's operating out of greed. His lobha. He becomes greedy. And he wants to know, he's, there's three reasons. He has three types of greed. One is that he wants to understand the glories of Radharani's love. What is her love? How can I understand it? And the other thing, other greed he has is, he wants to understand the wonderful, sweet, his own sweetness, 
that somehow the Radharani is relishing my sweetness, Adbhuta Madhurima, Adbhuta Madhurima, that it's amazing, my, my sweetness is astonishing, and she's tasting it, and I want to understand, what is, what is my beauty? How is she tasting it? And the third thing is, which we're discussing now, is Sokya Manubhav. He wants to understand the happiness that Radharani feels when she's relishing Krishna's beauty. Like someone may see something beautiful, a beautiful person, and it, when they see that beautiful object, then they, they creates a feeling in their heart, oh, I, the person's so beautiful, I feel so attracted, I feel so happy. And then, so Krishna's thinking, well, what is, what is, that, what is that happiness, that sokyam? What is that happiness that she feels when, she, when she's tasting my, my beauty? So this is the third desire. So these three desires, these are the three desires that Krishna had to uh, fulfill. So to fulfill those desires, he took the form of Lord Chaitanya and he absorbed himself in Radha Bhav, the Bhav, the mellow, the mood of Radharani. So this third desire, he wants to understand what is the happiness and pleasure that Radharani feels by relishing my beauty? How can I know it? <laughs> 